Hey, did you already put away all the stuff that we needed to? Good. I'm ready to get out of this place already. Why am I in a rush? Is that really any of your concern? I don't ask about your business, don't ask about mine. <sighs> Wait. Hold on. Did you lock the door? No, I didn't lock it. I'm serious. We can't get out. <sighs> Who in their right mind? Whatever. Just fucking... I can't believe I have to be stuck in this horrible storage room with you. Right as I was getting excited to leave and go. Well, do you have any cell service? Because I certainly don't. What? I'm sharp? Uh, thanks, I guess. All I did was pull out my cell phone to try and call somebody. Isn't that the first thing you thought of? Well, whatever. I guess we're kind of stuck here until further notice. Oh, you're welcome to go banging on the door, but I'm gonna pass. I think I'll just sit here and hang out. Maybe I'll take a nap or something. Why take a nap when I already sleep through most of our classes? Because I'm tired. Ugh. Why are you asking so many questions? Well, of course nobody knows about me. Nobody ever bothers to talk to me. How do you get to know a fucking person if you don't talk to them? Oh, pardon my French. Swearing has kind of, um, not mattered to me for a while. I'm just not about stupid shit, okay? People who are annoying and beat around the bush and aren't straightforward and to the point just bother me. And I read online that, you know, people who swear actually are more trustworthy, so, and believable. And that's a proven fact, so you're welcome. Now you can trust me and believe things that I say. <laughs> Why wouldn't you? We had no reason to lie to somebody like you. I hardly know you. You hardly know me. And yet here you are interrogating me. Would you like to know me? <laughs> Only because there's nothing better to do? Yeah, okay. Well, what do you want to know? It's not like we have anything else to talk about. Why I'm in such a rush? Uh, you can't tell anybody then. I have a job I do after school, and I do it all through the night, and I basically have an hour of free time between that and school, so that's why I sleep all day. How do I pass? Classes are easy. I do have some time to study, but honestly, I'm just lucky to be born fairly smart. I've never failed anything. At least not since coming here. Back when I was younger, there were times I would just fail because I didn't do assignments and got lazy, but now all I do is work and, and school, so since those are my only two priorities, there's not really a reason to fail at either one. Sounds hard. You get used to living off of four hours of sleep. 
And I'm already tall enough, it's not like I need to keep growing. You guys already sees me as some giant class delinquent. What, you think I can't hear you guys talking about me? Please. I might look asleep, but I can't even fall asleep half the time. It's not like it bothers me. I realize I'm an outcast. What about you, though? What made you want to take up interest in somebody like me? You are the class rep, and you've always been a star student. Very popular as well. Just like getting to know people, huh? Well, that's nice. I don't mind getting to know people, but they have to have the want and the will to talk to me. If they can't do that simple gesture, then I know that they aren't interested in actually becoming more than just somebody I know by name. I want friends, not just people who know of me and have some vague idea of who and what I might want to do with myself. Anyways. How did I get so big? <laughs> well, that is a random question. I, uh, I guess part of it's being born this way, and the other part is absolutely loving to work out. Oh. Well, it is hard to find time, too, between school and work, but I make time for it. I got called a scrawny little twig a lot when I was younger. Frankly, it sucks. I hated that part of my life. I hated being the scrawny little kid that people thought they could just push around and get to do whatever they wanted. But, I fixed that. Now I'm six foot three, full of muscle, or at least enough to look decent, and quite happy with myself. Nobody seems to bother me, or want to bother me, aside from the occasional talk about how lazy I must be, or how jealous they are of my grades despite me sleeping through everything. Honestly, I just put in more work than most people in everything I do. I guess that's hard to believe when all you see is one side of me, but if anyone got to truly know me, then they would know that that's the truth. So, tell me, queen of the high school, what do you think of me now that you actually know me? <laughs> You admire me. Well, I wasn't expecting that. You wish you could be as straightforward and bold as me. I think you should be. Just do it. I'll admit, even though I'm straightforward and can hurt people's feelings, it's not like I feel good about it. But it's much better to get out what you want to say than it is to keep quiet and keep those feelings, or whatever else inside. Especially when it's at the sake of your own health. Don't hurt yourself for the sake of others, because at the end of the day, only you can watch out for you. At least that's my philosophy. And friends? Sure, you guys will get into fights and probably exchange some nasty words, but true friends would never leave your side. And those are the only people I really want in my life. And you? Well, I enjoy talking to you today. You could be a friend if you continued to get to know me. Why am I acting like we're going to get saved? You can't hear the people outside? Now come on, before they get any weird ideas about what we were doing in here. <laughs>